Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, I'm going to pretend that I'm grading the first project. So here we are in D2L, and I'm looking at the submissions for the first project, the Pacific Project out of Chapter 2. And here I found myself, and so I'm going to grade my own submission as if I were a student. First of all, I'm looking at the URL, and it is correct. There's all lowercase, no spaces, points directly to the folder that contains the files for this particular project. This person has also put a random file attached to the submission because that's a requirement of D2L, and I could go check that out if I wanted to see what's in that file, but I do not do any grading from the file. I do all grading from the URL. That's just a requirement of D2L. So here we go. First of all, I just copy the URL, and I paste it into a browser, and I just start looking at it. This person has used index one instead of index for their home page. And the first thing I'll do is just open up the page and click the links and make sure the hyperlinks work. The second thing I like to do is do a control A, control C, and then run over to Word and control V, paste, and spell check it. And I'm looking for perfect spelling on every page. That is essential to professional web development. Secondly, then, I will take these pages and validate them. So I'll copy the hyperlink, control C, and I'll run over to the validator. If you cannot remember the URL for the validator, just put in HTML validator into Google, and it will be the first link. With the HTML validator open, I can paste that URL into the validate by URI tab and check it. And uh-oh, I'm seeing errors. So this will be a deduction on this person's page. And these three errors are saying that we see an ending footer tag, but there were open elements. That's on line 44. On line 41, there's an unclosed element small. And on line 45, we're seeing an end tag for body, but there are unclosed elements. So my suspicion is that because a small tag was not closed, that all three errors were created. So that would be a deduction for the submission. If I right click and view page source and check out my suspicion. Yes, the small tag has been opened, but it has not been closed. So that's definitely going to be a deduction. Now this person did use a nice comment there at the top of the page. The indentation is fairly reasonable. So all of that looks good. But then I would go over to services, link, and highlight the second URL. And let's validate that page as well. And uh-oh, I'm getting a whole lot of errors. Let's see. Wow. I've got the same three errors at the bottom, and then I'm getting a bunch of element DT and DD are not allowed as child, as children of div. And what that means is we've got a definition list here, but we've never started it. If I view that page source, I'm going to see all kinds of DT and DD tags, but we have to surround them with the opening DL definition list and closing DL tags. So because there's no DL tags, we cannot yet use DT and DD, data term and data definition tags. So this project would get some significant deductions because the person did not even take the time to validate their code. The validator is going to be your best friend to create properly constructed HTML. Plus, you're going to learn a lot about HTML. For example, we can't use DT and DD unless we've surrounded the whole list with DL tags. So spell check, link check, and validate. Those are going to be essential to your successful career as a web developer. Thank you.